the grand final of the DP World ILT20 sees my Emirates up against the Dubai Capitals here at the magnificent Dubai International Stadium. Rafali Burgay, left and right, Simon Taufel in behind, and Martin Sagas, who is the fourth official for tonight, lead the two sides. Now, I have to say that uh, the best two sides at the back end of the tournament comfortably. Numbers for Mohamed Wasim, 278. And a good strike rate in the 12 matches so far. That strike rate, just a tick under 300 at almost 160. Goes about his business in a real hurry. Been very good since arriving. 13 wickets. We are set to go. Straight onto the front foot with a good piece of timing. That will feel good, first ball. Indeed. Straight and beautifully timed. DP World Maximum straight away. Early contender and another kit donated to grassroots cricket. Fourth delivery of the innings. And such is the confidence of Mohamed Wazim. Walking into the ball, as you mentioned, Simon Duhl taking that momentum. Into Pulls powerfully through mid-wicket. Will it go? Will it go? It does. Sky247.net, Super 4. A commanding stroke straight away from Kusal Pereira. He's a naturally gifted cricketer. Pace off and punished. Massive into the top tier that is a beauty from Mohamed Wasim six could be in contention for the DP world biggest six of the match fifteen hundred dollars flamboyance we've seen from him he picked the slow ball waited to get his swing going through the ball picked his spot wasn't trying to keep it down 103 meters that's the distance in delivery get it up oh wow Timed beautifully over point. Six more. Mohamed Wasim finding the middle of that blade. Flamboyance in that stroke from Mohamed Wasim. He's growing in stuff. He was the most dominant UE player with the bat. And again this year. Just consolidating his position and his class. Cut away. He uses confidence at the crease. Pace off, timing, perfection, placement as good. 50 up inside the fourth. And it's an action pack, 50 from the openers once. Down on one knee, knowing that the fielders that are leg side are in front of square, there's no danger. Raza down. Bit of innovation. Nice and creative, and a good way to try and put the bowler off. Goes straight again, but this has gone high. Not an easy one to take for power, but he's done well. He's made that look very, very easy, because it went to high. Yeah, nice and easy. Yeah, there's the link. It just slices the outer side of the blade there. Now, look at that lovely study and concentration all the way reverse cup and then take the cushioning to hold on to the ball that is how you do it youngsters straight and powerful enough to go all the way for six Fletcher announces his, himself well my Emirates and Fletcher needed that bounce his confidence will have returned Naturally quite belligerent. Andre Fletcher. Been under a little bit of pressure of late. Oh, that struck well. No, it's a good catch. Excellent catch. Chikandar Raza, we've spoken about how influential he is to this team. His performances with bat and ball. Picks up a big wicket. A wicket of Kusal Pereira. Fletcher just going into a rut, creating pressure that led to this stroke. 
12 wickets now for Sikanda Raza. He's a man for an occasion. Can he make it his night tonight? He's out over extra recovery. Pick up a boundary finally. Andre Fletcher, Sky247.net. Super 4, what guy are you this evening to you? Unique and new I've seen. Hit down towards long off and over the top. He's got plenty of it. Green striker, isn't he? It wasn't a half volley. Just because he has decided he's going to go after it. And Fletcher wants a piece of the action now. Advances. That's up into the Royal Box. Watch out, mate. I think you dropped it. Fletcher reaching for it. I, I don't think he got to the pitch, but he, he decided to go for it. Decided to go straight, which was the right way to go. 92 meters. Lovely strike. No, he can't. Oh, my word, that sounds good. So good. Top tier. 50 for the Spice Man. Brings it up in style. Magnificent 50. It was slow to begin with. Crowd enjoying it. The owners are having fun. That is fantastic shot to get to his 50. And taken! The ploy! He's thinking about the old bicycle himself. Hub cycle. Bring it. Well, he deployed the rocket burners and running to that. Catch. Have a look at this. Gone miles up in the air. Puts the big strides in and then the big dive. Top notch. Absolutely top notch. Oh, he's got people. Oh, sounded sweet. And is. That is on for extra cover. Talk about slappage to the max here from Nicky P. Well, he smoked that like a Cuban. He's absolutely murdered it. Nicky P. Really putting on a show over here. He's palmed it for six. It has gone for 11. That's his 450th six for Nicky P. And it's 188 for three now. And they're looking at 200. Oh, Nicholas. Every night of the week. 50, Captain. And you could just watch him all evening. Goosebumps to the four watching this guy hit it over extra. Brings up 200 now. Man, and it's the first team 200 of the DP World ILT20, courtesy of this guy. Well, save the best for last for 14. Oh, make that more! Holy smokes! What a way to finish it, Spice Man, off his feet and down the stairwell. And Polo's just sat back and been a spectator. And fist pump to galore. Look, 57 from 27. Six sixes, two fours. The Dubai Capitals will have to defy some odds tonight if they are to lift the trophy. It's the first time this season we've seen 200 scored by a team. If the Dubai Capitals are to get that 209, it'll be the highest successful chase in the history of DP World ILT20 and the highest successful chase at this ground in T20s. These two opening the batting, Lewis Deploy and Tom Banton will need to do much of the same. Indeed, the platform has to be a solid one in this run. She wickets. The left and right hand combination is a positive a the last game. That will give them a lot of confidence for the challenge of this man. Oh, that's a, maybe a nervous start a little bit there for Deploy. Previous game, he picked up a wicket first ball. James Vince, he took the wicket off against the golf giant. Ah! Straight away, Deploy trying something a little different and creative. And Ruchera says, that's out. His discussion between Deploy and Banton. 
quite a lengthy discussion as well. They don't look sure. And Deployer said, I'm going to accept the on-field decision. A massive blow in this final. Well, in this, as a batter, you always uh, open yourself up to being dismissed quite early as well. It's risk-reward. And the reward goes for Akil Hussein. Usually arms the ball in. Yes, it, buddy! Trying to make some room for himself and release some of this pressure that has been built by my Emirates. DP World will now donate another cricket kit to grassroots cricket here in the UAE. It's 21 for one. Oh, have another chance, Kyron. Surely not this time. Surely not this time. Yes, he knows it as well. Straight in. And Tom Abel has given opportunity after opportunity and finally... My Emirates have held on to one. Abel and Banton would have had to take a risk. Abel trying to put one in the stands. Just didn't get any sort of timing and an easy catch. That should be enough. It's plenty on that. Oh, enough to go all the way and that'll be six kits donated. DP World every time six hit. And donate a kit to grassroots cricket. And if it hits that target... Bullseye, six more. Six. Pal quite low. Oh, that's long enough, I'm thinking. Yes, it is. Banton goes bang downtown. More of that required if you're a Capitals fan. Yeah, good use of the feed there. He's dancing down the drag end of the pitch of the ball. And more importantly, just going straight over the bowler's head. For the Capitals. Stopping. There is that wicket. The breakthrough comes for my Emirates. It's a wide, but Banton premeditating. And he has to depart. It's roll it through, roll it through, roll it through, roll it. Freeze it there. Thank you. Uh, the batter's sure of the ground. I've got my decision ready for the big screen. Waka Yunus alongside me, we saw it from up in the com box, yep, there was no chance for Tom Banton. Confirmation from the third umpire. And that's the end of Banton, 35 from... Reverse, and flies, one bounce into the boundary line. That's great innovation from Sam Billings, he's already worked out Salam Kale. Tumped powerfully over deep midwicket. That's six more. Surely a contender for the DP World, biggest six of the match. Crowd 1360s were hit when my Emirates were batting. And this is the fourth one from uh, Capitals. Goes in front and does it very well. This is highly skilled from Sam Billings. He's manipulating the field quite nicely. I mean, ugly. Uh oh. Uh oh. Another nail. Big blow. Sekunda's got to go here. He felt, yeah, I have to flick the switch and couldn't. 10 from 12, he was part of that ball. Knew the pressure was getting to him. No problem at all for. Mohamed Wasim. To be fair, it probably was the right ball. It was a bit of a drag down. He just clothed it. Didn't hit it anywhere near well enough. Yeah. Salamki. Take him on. And let's have a reversey for sexy. My word. That is a Monty. That is extraordinary. Well, if not better than they play the conventional sweep or slog sweep. Power he gets into the Sam Billings right out of the middle of the bat. That is just something else. 79 meters if you don't mind. Yeah. A few of us in the com box here at the back of it at least have called this one because he's had to go. He's had to go. Oh look, there's a few words being said here.
Oh dear, here in the final, he's just telling him he's got to go. Holstock's coming to say stuff with uh, the umps and told him where to go and how quickly to get there as well. Sam Billings just said, hey, just a little bit of respect, mate. Well bowled, well bowled, but just a little bit of respect. Uh-oh. Oh, it should have been taken. It sounded good. So she's around 69 metres all round here because we're right in the middle of the pitch. And is that Mohamed Wasim, is it? Catch it, Noah! You're not going to catch that. It's gone all the way. Long handle from long Jason Holder. Oh, it hurts even more now, Wasim, doesn't it? Not sure he got that either. Wait till it's right out of the middle either. Just the last couple. One a little bit short and that one a bit fuller. It allowed those big... Changes his length. And what does that mean for Bolt? It means a wicket. That's nicely taken from Mohamed Wasim. He took that time, just that extra second to steady himself. It's a full-on delivery. He bowls with, when he bowls a Yorker. Pitching it short means it's going to be cutter, it's going to be slower, sticking in the pitch, ball not coming on, and uh, result will be wicket. We we'll see him a wonderful hands there, friend ball smile. Ugolain does have the ability to clear the boundary. He falls just short on this occasion, but it's four. Well, he may possibly have read the change of pace from Bravo. He's holding it back very slow, 89 kilometers an hour. Yeah, he was in position very early. All that Joker, so he moved toward the offside and then he realized, no, that is a slow delivery. And that was very slow. I had enough uh, time to readjust and then uh, put it. Bolt is the man who will bring you wickets when needed. Wanting to wrap up an innings, he's often the man to do it. There might be a good chasing side, but not tonight. Not in the big finale. Bolt. Cross seam delivery, the angle pushing the ball in and hitting the timber leg stump. Alden uh, gone. Full toss. Little look at the square leg umpire, probably as well. Is that over waist high? Looks like it might be safe. It's a, a noble base height. It was close. It wasn't that. Uh, he wasn't far away from uh, being a no, no ball. Maybe the ball was sort of dying down. My Emirates will lift the trophy. It's victory for the men in blue. The MI family has for many years dominated T20 franchise cricket. And now they add a new title to the ever-growing trophy collection. The new DP World ILT20 champions are the My Emirates.